Hi everybody, Morgan here again, and let's just get straight on over to the VTT so I can show you some of the new features that we've worked on this last month. All right, so getting straight into it, we have some new changes for the measure tool. So there's a new mode here that was highly requested, uh, which is the beam. Beams can have a variety of widths. And like other things, they can linger or not. They can snap to the center or snap to the corner. And they can either broadcast to other players or not. A few other new quality of life things. You can now send things directly to the lighting layer, which was not previously possible, although you could previously send it to other layers. And speaking of lighting, We've also done some improvements to Explorer mode. If you've had performance issues while using Explorer mode previously, you might want to take a look again. We've done some pretty big revamps there that have improved for performance for a lot of users. Moving out of the VTT to Roll20 characters, we have the Character Vault Call of Cthulhu character sheet, which we talked a little bit about last time I, I showed you here. It is now out and released. In addition to that, coming very soon, we have the Pathfinder 2nd Edition character sheet. And that includes class drag and drop to get you making characters and into games a little bit faster with Pathfinder 2nd Edition. And a preview I think that folks have been pretty eager for for a long time, page folders. We've got a new handy icon up here. And when you roll that out, here's our new page folders menu. No folders on this screen yet, so let's go ahead and make one of those. Drag and drop that on up to the top. And I should mention that this is uh, design still in progress, so you can expect some changes and improvements here due to some feedback that we've already received. And we'll continue to improve this with your comments and feedback up until the time that we're able to release it. Getting new items into those folders is super easy. And you can also take a collection of items that are related and quickly create a folder from those two items. It's a lot easier to get things lost. And so now you can search your scenes and that will go right across all of those folders. So pretty easy to quickly find anything Barovia related, whether it's a folder or a page. I hope you all are as excited about that as I am. And we'll be seeing a lot more of that to come. All right. Thanks, everybody. That's all I've got to show you. Have some great games this month. Hi, my name is Andrew, and I've got some really big news. Dungeon Scrawl is now part of Roll20. It would be really great if Dungeon Scrawl was integrated with Roll20. And that's exactly what we hope to do in the future, is to, to take a real time map tool like Dungeon Scroll and put it into a VTT so you have all of it together and you have a true zero prep solution. You can make the dungeon as your players are exploring it. I look forward to seeing what more we can do with this, with this tool in the future and stay tuned. Thank you very much. Bye. Hi, this is Clay from Roll20. I'm on the marketing team, and I'm going to show you some of our favorite content releases of the last month. First up, we have Fandelver and Below the Shattered Obelisk. So this game just came out last week, and it is an update to the classic story of Lost Mine of Fandelver that delves into the perilous Underdark. So the Roll20 conversion for this, like all of our recent conversion, it kind of starts with a, a tips page that shows you exactly what you get out of the value of a Roll20 conversion. Rollable tokens, hidden tokens, everything is laid out for you in the VTT. You can drag and drop from the compendium. It's very, very fully featured and will save for some GMs hundreds of hours of prep time. So you can see here on the dynamic lighting example page that all of these dynamic lighting layers lines are laid out for you. These pillars, you're not gonna have to do anything in order to set this up for play. There are doors that are interactive that you can just click to open. And then when you go, say, to an encounter page, you can see like the dynamic lighting lines are all laid out there as well. And for lots of these, you'll see just tons of 
tokens already laid out for you on the GM layer. So these are already in position where you would kind of want to encounter them in the course of this adventure. All you have to do is just switch them from the GM to the token layer to show them to your players. So there's, I mean, an enormous amount of value here, dozens of maps available, hundreds of tokens, and I can't wait to see how people play with this new module. Next up is the Shadow Over Providence Hotel. So this is a bundle for Call of Cthulhu that has a ton of art in it, but set in Providence's iconic Biltmore Hotel. And you can see there's lots of scenes here for day and night options in a 1920s themed hotel. Lots of really cool role-playing possibilities here. It has brand new character portraits, handouts, art, a whole 1920s token pack. It's really totally packed with brand new content that, that I think our players will really love. Next for Pathfinder players, we have the new remastered player core and GM core rule books. So Pathfinder fans kind of know that this is coming. The pre-order is available right now on Roll20 and it will unlock in November. If you buy it now and you don't already own the original core rulebook, you'll instantly get access to it and get to use it in your games. And then when the remastered version comes out, you'll unlock that in November. If you already own the core rulebook, you will get the remastered version for free when it comes out. So you will be getting a free upgrade to this when the new Pathfinder rule system is released. Now available on both DriveThruRPG and Roll20 markets, Tomb of Uchiban from Edge is a campaign for the Adventures of Rokugan game line set in the iconic Legend of the Five Rings setting that uses 5th edition open source SRD rules. There's really three products in, in total here. There's a module, a lot of these have already been released in a PDF format, compendiums, art packs, a one-shot adventure. I just love the work that the conversion team did on this and just the art from the game is so impressive that I'm actually kind of hoping to run this myself. So really big fan of this release and I highly recommend trying it out. Now available on Drive Through RPG, Cities Without Number from Cena Nominee Publishing is a cyberpunk RPG built for sandbox adventures. You can get a PDF hardcover or a PDF and hardcover bundle formats, and it has five stars already with 43 reviews, which is great. It's fully compatible with the sci-fi Stars Without Number game and the fantasy sister game Worlds Without Number. So it's a very old school inspired game system and it has all the world building tools and rules and everything else GMs need to create a custom cyberpunk world. Another new drive through RPG release, Lore of the Traditions. This is a new book for Mage the Ascension, the 20th anniversary edition, and it explores the history, practices, and politics of each of the current members of the Council of Nine. The book lays bare the secrets and shame of the traditions, recounting past tragedy and triumph, and details how each of these magical societies approaches the quest for ascension heading into the mid-21st century. Did you know that MCDM now sells PDFs on DriveThruRPG? To celebrate, they've slashed prices on several past Arcadia issues. These are usually $9.99, now they're $4.99. And you can get some PDFs bundled with VTT conversions in discounted bundles. There's also Roll20 VTT conversions available for MCDM, too. Last but not least, a reminder that your favorite Chaosium titles like the Keeper Rulebook are available in PDF and VTT bundles on DriveThruRPG. So by buying the bundle, you get a discount on the, v the VTT and PDF options. If you do, for example, hybrid play, you could get a discount bundle here where you could play some of your sessions online, some of your sessions in person. You could use the brand new standalone characters tool for Call of Cthulhu to bridge the gap. This bundle is a perfect option if you like to take your game from online to the real world and back. Thanks so much for watching Roll20 Reroll, and we will see you next month.